it would be very good if you were able to join us outside around the fire outside around the fire to light. in God. Father, we share in the light of your glory through your Son, the light of the world. Make this new fire holy and in with new hope. Purify our minds and bring us to Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, 
alpha and omega, all time belongs to him, and all age. To him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. Now I insert five grains of incense into the Easter candle to remind us of the wounds of Christ on the cross. By his holy and glorious wounds, may Christ our Lord guard us and keep us. Amen. May the light of Christ The light of Christ, thanks be to God. The light of Christ, thanks be to God. The light of Christ, thanks be to God.
Rejoice, heavenly powers, sing choirs of angels, exalt all creation around God's throne. Jesus Christ, our King, is risen. Sound the trumpet of salvation. Rejoice, earth in shining splendor, radiant in the brightness of your King. Christ has conquered, glory fills you. Darkness vanishes forever. Rejoice, O Mother Church, exult in glory. The risen Saviour shines upon you. Let this place resound with joy, echoing the mighty song of all God's people. My dearest friends, standing with me in this holy light, Join me in asking God for mercy, that he may give his unworthy minister grace to sing his Easter praises. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right that with full hearts and minds and voices we should praise the unseen God, the all-powerful Father, and his only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For Christ has ransomed us with his blood and paid for us the price of Adam's sin to our eternal Father. This is our Passover feast when Christ, the true Lamb, is slain, whose blood consecrates the homes of all believers. This is the night when first you saved our fathers, you freed the people of Israel from their slavery and led them dry shot through the sea. This is the night when the pillar of fire destroyed the darkness of sin, this is the night when Christians everywhere washed clean of sin and freed from all defilement are restored to grace and grow together in holiness. This is the night when Jesus Christ broke the chains of death and rose triumphant from the grave. What good would life had been to us had Christ not come as our Redeemer? Father, how wonderful your care for us, how boundless your merciful love to ransom a slave you gave away your son. Oh, happy fault, O oh, necessary sin of Adam, which gained for us so great a Redeemer. Most blessed of all nights, chosen by God to see Christ rising from the dead. Of this night, Scripture says, the night will be as clear as day. It will become my light, my joy. The power of this holy night dispels all evil, washes guilt away. 
restores lost innocence, brings mourners joy. It casts out hatred, brings us peace and humbles earthly pride. Nights truly blessed, when heaven is wedded to earth and man is reconciled with God. Therefore, heavenly Father, in the joy of this night, receive our evening sacrifice of praise, your church's solemn offering. Accept this Easter candle, a flame divided but undimmed, a pillar of fire that glows to the honor of God. Let it mingle with the lights of heaven and continue bravely burning to dispel the darkness of this night. May the morning star which never sets find this flame still burning. Christ, that morning star, who came back from the dead and shed his peaceful light on all mankind. Your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. quiet hearts to the Word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved his people and in these the last days has sent us his Son as our Redeemer. We pray that our God may complete this paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. So our vigil is four readings from the Old Testament, the first from the book of Genesis. Each reading is followed by a responsorial psalm. In the case of the third reading, this is sung. And then at the end of the psalm, there is a collet, a prayer for which we stand. So please sit for the first reading and the psalm. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God said, let us make man in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves, and let them be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, the cattle, all the wild beasts, and all the reptiles that crawl upon the earth. God created man in the image of himself, in the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying to them, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and conquer it. Be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven and all living animals on the earth. God said, See, I give you all the seed-bearing plants that are upon the whole earth and all the trees with seed-bearing fruit. 
this shall be your food. To all wild beasts, all birds of heaven, and all living reptiles on the earth, I give all the foliage of plants for food. And so it was. God saw all he had made, and indeed, it was very good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great you are, clothed in majesty and glory, wrapped in light as in a robe. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. You founded the earth on its base, to stand firm from age to age. You wrapped it with the ocean like a cloak. The waters stood higher than the mountains. Send forth your spirit, O Lord. Renew the face of the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow in between the hills. On their banks dwell the birds of heaven. From the branches they sing their song. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. From your dwelling you water the hills. Earth drinks its fill of your gift. You make the grass grow for the cattle and the plants to serve man's needs. Send forth your spirit, O Lord, and renew the face of the earth. How many are your works, O Lord, In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. Bless the Lord, my soul. Send forth your spirit, O Lord. Renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have created the heavens and the earth and made us in your own image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of Genesis. God put Abraham Abraham to the test. Abraham, Abraham, he called. Here I am, he replied. Take your son. God said, your only child, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah. There you shall offer him as a burnt offering on a mountain I will point out to you. When they arrived at the place God had pointed out to him, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood. Then he stretched out his hand and seized the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven. Abraham, Abraham, he said, I am here, he replied. Do not raise your hand against the boy, the angel said. Do not harm him, for now I know you fear God. You have not refused me your son, your only son. Then looking up, Abraham saw a ram caught by its horns in a bush. Abraham took the ram and offered it as burnt offering in place of his son. The angel of the Lord called Abraham a second time from heaven. I swear by my own self, it is the Lord who speaks. 
because you have done this, because you have not refused me, your son, your only son, I will shower blessings on you. I will make your descendants as many as the stars of heaven and the grains of sand on the seashore. Your descendants shall gain possession of the gates of their enemies. All the nations of the earth shall bless themselves by your descendants as a reward for your obedience. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, happiness forever. Preserve Preserve me, God, I take take refuge refuge in you. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose chosen servant Abraham faithfully obeyed your call and rejoiced in your promise that in him all the families of the earth should be blessed, give us a faith like his that in us your promises may be fulfilled. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me so? Tell the sons of Israel to march on. For yourself, raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and part it for the sons of Israel to walk through the sea on dry ground. I, for my part, will make the heart of the Egyptians so stubborn that they will follow them. So shall I win myself glory at the expense of Pharaoh, of all his army, his chariots, his horsemen. And when I have won the glory for myself at the expense of Pharaoh and his chariots and his army, the Egyptians will learn that I am the Lord. Then the angel of the Lord, who marched at the front of the army of Israel, changed station and moved to their rear. The pillar of cloud changed station from the front to the rear of them and remained there. It came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camps of Israel. The cloud was dark, and the night passed without the enemies, the armies drawing any closer the whole night long. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove back the sea with a strong easterly wind all night, and he made dry the land of the sea. 
The waters parted and the sons of Israel went on dry ground right into the sea. Walls of water to the right and to the left of them. The Egyptians gave chase. After them, they went right into the sea, all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. In the morning watch, the Lord looked down on the army of the Egyptians from the pillar of fire and of cloud and threw the army into confusion. He so clogged their chariot wheels that they could scarcely make headway. Let us flee from the Israelites, the Egyptians cried. The Lord is fighting for them against the Egyptians. Stretch out your hand over the sea, the Lord said to Moses, that the waters may flow back on the Egyptians and their chariots and their horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and as day broke, the sea returned to its bed. The fleeing Egyptians marched right into it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the very middle of the sea. The returning waters overwhelmed the chariots and the horsemen of Pharaoh's whole army which had been following the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them was left. But the sons of Israel had marched through the sea on dry ground, walls of water to right and to the left of them. That day the Lord rescued Israel from the Egyptians and Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. Israel witnessed the great act that the Lord had performed against the Egyptians, and the people venerated the Lord. They put their faith in the Lord and in Moses, his servant. It was then that Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song in honor of the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. Horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength, my song, my salvation. This is my God, and I extol him. My Father's God, and I give him praise. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh he hurled into the sea. The flower of his army is drowned in the sea. The deep tide them, they sank like a stone. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. Your right hand, Lord, glorious in its power. Your right hand, Lord, has shattered the enemy. In the greatness of your glory, you crushed the foe. I will sing to the Lord, glorious his triumph. You will lead them and plant them on your mountain, the place, O oh Lord, where you have made your home, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands have made, the Lord will reign forever and ever. Let us pray. 
God our Father, you have invited us to share in the supper which your Son gave to his church, to proclaim his death until he comes. May he nourish us by his presence and unite us in his love, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, now and forever. Our fourth reading is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 55. Oh, come to the water, all you who are thirsty. Though you have no money, come. Buy corn without money and eat, and at no cost, wine and milk. Why spend money on what is not bread? Your wages on what fails to satisfy? Listen, listen to me, and you will have good things to eat and rich food to enjoy. Pay attention, come to me, listen, and your soul will live. With you, I will make an everlasting covenant out of the favours promised to David. See, I have made of you a witness to the peoples, a leader and a master of the nations. See, you will summon a nations you never knew. Those unknown will come hurrying to you for the sake of the Lord your God, of the Holy One of Israel who will glorify you. Seek the Lord while he is still to be found. Call to him while he is still near. Let the wicked man abandon his way, the evil man his thoughts. Let him turn back to the Lord who will take pity on him to our God, who is rich in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, my ways not your ways. It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, the heavens are as high above earth as my ways are above your ways, my thoughts above your thoughts. Yes, as the rain and the snow come down from the heavens and do not return without watering the earth, making it yield and giving growth to provide seed for the sower and bread for the eating. So the word that goes from my mouth does not return to me empty without carrying out my will and succeeding in what it was sent to do. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The psalm is from Isaiah 12 and the response is, with joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With, With joy, joy, you will, you draw, will draw water, water from, the from, the from the wells of salvation. salvation. Truly, God is my salvation. I trust, I shall not fear. For the Lord is my strength, my song. He became my saviour. With joy, you will draw water from the walls of salvation. With joy, you, you will, will draw, draw water from, from the wells, wells of, of salvation. salvation. Give thanks to the Lord. Give praise to his name. Make his mighty deeds known to the peoples. Declare the greatness of his name. With joy, you will, you will draw, draw water, water from, from the, the wells, wells of, of salvation. salvation. Sing a psalm to the Lord, for he has done glorious deeds. Make them known to all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. With, With joy, joy, you, you will, will draw water, water from, from the, the wells, wells of, of salvation. salvation. Let us pray. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world. Grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. 
Gloria in excelsis Deo. We sing the Gloria. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him. Grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. The New Testament reading is taken from St. Paul's Epistle to the Romans, chapter 6, beginning at verse 3. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized in his death. In other words, we were baptized 
we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death. So that we went into the tomb with him and returned with him in death. So that Christ was risen from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. If in union with Christ we have imitated his death, we shall also imitate him in his resurrection. We must realize that our former selves have been crucified with him to destroy this sinful body and to free us from the slavery of sin. When a man dies, of course, he is finished with sin. But we believe that having died with Christ, we shall return to life with him. Christ, as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him anymore. When he died, he died once for all to sin, so his life now is the life with God, and in that way, you too must consider yourselves to be dead to sin, but alive to God in Christ Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love hath no end. Let the sons of Israel say, his love has no end. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand has raised me up. I shall not die, I shall live, and recount his deeds. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The stone which the builder rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, at the first sign of dawn, the women went to the tomb with the spices they had prepared. They found that the stone had been rolled away from the tomb but on entering discovered that the body of the Lord Jesus was not there. As they stood there, not knowing what to think, two men in brilliant clothes suddenly appeared at their side. Terrified, the women lowered their eyes. But the men said to them, why look among the dead for someone who is alive? He's not here, he is risen. Remember what he told you when he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man had to be handed over into the power of sinful men and be crucified and rise again on the third day. And they remembered his words. When the women returned from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the others. The women were... Mary of Magdala, Joanna, and Mary, the mother of James. 
The other women with them also told the apostles, but this story of theirs seemed pure nonsense, and they did not believe them. Peter, however, went running to the tomb. He bent down and saw the binding cloths, but nothing else. He then went back home, amazed at what had happened. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please be seated and we'll observe a moment of silence. So our response to the Easter Gospel, to the extraordinary news that the Lord is risen, is to renew our baptismal vows. So what happens next is that we participate in the Litany of the Saints. Martin will fill the uh, portable font with water and then bring the Paschal candle. We shall consecrate the water, we shall renew our baptismal promises and then we'll all get wet. So please repeat after me. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Holy angels of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us, St. Peter and St. Paul, pray for us, St. Andrew, pray for us, St. John the Evangelist, pray for us, St. Mary Magdalene, pray for us, St. Stephen, pray for us. Saint Ignatius of Antioch, pray for us. Saint Lawrence, pray for us. Saint Perpetua and Saint Felicity, pray for us. Saint Agnes, pray for us. Saint Gregory, pray for us. Saint Augustine, Pray for us, Saint Athanasius. Pray for us, Saint Basil. Pray for us, Saint Martin. Pray for us, Saint Benedict. Pray for us, Saint Francis and Saint Dominic. Pray for us, 
Saint John Vianney, pray for us. Saint Catherine of Siena, pray for us. Saint Teresa of Jesus, pray for us. Saint Anthony, pray for us. Saint James, pray for us. Saint Pancras, pray for us. All holy men and women, saints of God, pray for us. Please stand and we're on page 41. Praise God who keeps his, who made heaven and earth, who keeps his promise forever. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. We thank you, almighty God, for the gift of water to sustain, refresh, and cleanse all life. Over water the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through water you led the children of Israel from slavery in Egypt to freedom in the promised land. In water your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us from the death of sin to newness of life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it we are buried with Christ in his death. By it we share in his resurrection. Through it we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we baptize into his fellowship those who come to him in faith. Now sanctify this water, that by the power of your Holy Spirit we may be cleansed from sin and born again. Renewed in your image, may we walk by the light of faith and continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Lord. To whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. As we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, we remember that through the Paschal mystery, we have died and been buried with him in baptism so that we may rise with him to a new life within the family of his church. Now that we have completed our observance of Lent, we renew the promises made at our baptism, affirming our allegiance to Christ and our rejection of all that is evil. Therefore, I ask these questions. Do you turn to Christ as Saviour? Do you submit to Christ as Lord? Do you come to Christ, the way, the truth, and the life? I come to Christ. And now I ask you, to make the profession of Christian faith into which you were baptized and in which you will live and grow. Do you believe and trust in God the Father who made all things? I believe and trust in him. 
Do you believe and trust in his Son, Jesus Christ, who redeemed the world? I believe. Do you believe and trust in his Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God? I believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Almighty God, we thank you for our fellowship in the household of faith with all those who have been baptized in your name. Keep us faithful to our baptism and so make us ready for that day when the whole creation shall be made perfect in your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and he said to them, Peace be with you. Then they were glad when they saw the risen Lord. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Exchange the peace in a COVID-friendly kind of way. Hundred and six. One hundred and six.
Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may, by the working of your power, bring us to the healing of eternity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Almighty and Eternal Father, and in these days of Easter to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the powers of death and hell, and restored in women and men the image of your glory. He has placed us once more in paradise, and opened to us the gate of life eternal. And so, in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and the powers of all creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me.
the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, St. John the Evangelist, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day. In your mercy keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread.
Behold, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this paschal sacrament one in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, a very happy Easter to you, everyone. A very happy Easter. I hope you'll stay and celebrate with a glass of fizz at the back of the church and a little canopy. Thank you very much to everyone who's taken part in these liturgies. It is a real tour de force, as you know, and how beautiful the church looks. There were people here all morning cleaning and arranging flowers and drinking coffee and eating donuts and all that kind of stuff. So it was a truly splendid fellowship time this morning, I thought. And what a lovely liturgy. Thank you, Father Robert, for being with me. The Lord be with you. God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, come down upon you to dwell deep within you this day and forevermore. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.